Greetings everyone, my name is Flair Bliss here and welcome to Log In, an Omniki fan game made in Arbor Jamaica 2003 by this individual here. Is my mouse appearing on the screen? Hold on. Yeah, it is there. It looks all good. Yeah, this individual here. Anyways, the game. So, we take control of a protagonist by the name of Amali. A girl in possession of a strange device that allows her to explore a world known as the Enhanced Reality. A world where every corner of the human mind takes shape. What is the true purpose of this world? Well, we have no idea really, other than to collect effects and probably witness events too. But you're here for the game, not for me to explore the possibilities of what might be. Right. New device found. Installing device drivers. Oh no! No! Installing a computer again! Done. Installing additional third party stuff. No! Not 30 parts sort of there! Done. Initializing. This sounds more like the end now. Wow. Nice loading screen. How to play. Arrow key is movement, how to move around, it's a simple up arrow, down arrow, left arrow, right arrow. Space or Z key is to interact and confirm. It, alternatively, enter is one as well. Shift is to use effect, excellent. And the escape X key is the menu as, as well. And also nine is to quit the enhanced reality. Put headset on, turn headset on, Run software on PC and harsh reality. This feels like in a way of Steins Gate, where you put the headset on and then you can, um, oh, I forgot what it was called now, but you can go back in time or some sort of other thing. I did not expect that. Howdy! Oh, we have a very unique hairstyle as well. And there it is. So yeah, one. How does one save the game? Paintings, Pacific, Chaos, Classic. Ah, uh, the classic. Hey, eh? <laughs> that's Madazuki right there. Lines and dots. Yeah. Um, I will go with Pacific. What about this? Ah, oh, it's just a chain. This. Ah, oh, we just. Ah, oh, that's nice. Whistle casually. So how does one save the game? That's what I'm thinking. Put ER headset on. No, at the moment. Home. Archives. Save. Ah, oh, that's nice. Extra. Log one dot txt. Cannot open file. File is encrypted. All of these encrypted files. Are these the law of the game? Or am I just thinking too much? Okay. Games. Rinran. Enhanced reality. And settings. Background style. Why? I will choose. I don't know really. Whoa! I can't see the writing there. Um. I like that actually. Nice clouds in the distance there. Um, nope. Rinran. Oh. Okay, it's just completely open. Yeah, I'm going to return to desktop. It's actually just completely mucked up my <laughs> recording now, I think. I'm not too sure. Literally, it just loaded onto a different screen, which I was really liked, but I'm not going to explore that. Uh, okay, I'm going to go back here then. Do what we do here. Oh, we can, we can run now? Okay. Put ER headset on. Ah, that's how you do the do. What's out here? Ah, there's the light. And there's a bed there as well. What a what an empty room here. But still, we can digress with that. This is the pathway to sink, which we never use a bedroom. <laughs> we only dream here. We don't actually go to sleep. We just dream. Look at the beautiful moonlight there. 
Pixelated to our heart content. Right. We got the headset on. Now let's log in. Please turn on your ER headset. Isn't it on? It's not on. Ah, okay. On off. On. I believe that should be it. It loads into a different screen, I believe. Hold on, is this correct? Yes, it's all good. We're in the enhanced reality of everything. Unless we go to a random world each time, I don't know. Okay, so these are the boundaries, which is nice. So we've got here four different, well, four main different paths that we can branch off. There's that way. Then there's this way over here. It's sort of like a clock, really. Uh, up here, we've got ourselves an image. And then down here, from the living room, we've got ourselves... Whoa. Oh, dear. It looks worse when I had my blue screen of death issues months ago. Um, yeah, we'll explore this one first. We'll see what this one has to offer for us. Go to the left and go up. Easy. We got ourselves an effect right off the bat. Includes building camera as well. Yay. I wonder if I'll be able to take a f screenshot in the game. Like a... I've forgotten what the perspective was called. But basically take a picture from the ground view. And then have it as a screenshot in the game. I don't know. I'll keep a face on for now. But you will never know my true identity. He goes by the name of Plaid. Right. Let's go up here and see what we can find in these stairs above. With any sort of game like this. In Umaniki. Umaniki fan game. I think it's just best to not try and set yourself something specific. Just... Keep wandering around until you actually find something, because I think if you if you put yourself on a really specific objective, like let's say trying to get the item that allows you to increase your movement speed, then you're going to be forever confused as to what to do. But then again, that's the point of exploring everywhere so that you can see what's going. On. Okay, so I've already been there, so you, so you can see what's going on. So this is horizontally infinite, but I don't think it would be vertically infinite, that particular room. So I keep going round and round. Oh, there's two different, two different things, things here. Hmm. What is the significance behind this one? Hmm. We still seem like doors, but we can't go through them. Maybe we need another effect to be able to make them work. So we'll go back there another time. Mentally archive into my fuzzy memory. And then five minutes later I'll forget that it's actually there. <laughs> oh dear. The brain of the male mind. We can only do one thing at a time. Let's keep on going then until we... Ah, there's a door here. There's a sneaky door here. You can't fool me. I know when there's a gap. Maybe this is the path that only your smartphones can go on. Oh my gosh. Look at this. This is Kodam... Oh my gosh. That's, a, that's an enemy NPC. That's an enemy NPC. I know what's going to happen if I interact with you. You're going to put me into a very small confined room. Hello! You don't seem threatening. Oh, uh, we've got ourselves some binary. Excellent. Or maybe that's just how you interact with us. Yeah, you just... You're the binary master! So we've got... I presume it says H to O or something. Or 2 to 1. It's got a ratio, and then there's another letter K. But I'm not sure if that's a H or an L. And then... For, no wait, it's one to zero. 
Oh, am I so silly? It's 1 to 0, then 2 to 1, then K. But what does that mean? I thought you said I could take a screenshot. Includes building camera. You know what? We'll just go with the flow, you know. It doesn't really matter. Although, we can't get through that door. Look, I try and interrupt with a door, but nothing happens. Maybe it's a later build. Or maybe that is not the path I should be going along. Hmm, don't trust that enemy NPC. Well, I don't trust the NPC. I do believe it is going to be an enemy one that's going to put me in a small room. Like I said before, all this room works. Oh! It's like the Red Maze from Rumaniki, isn't it? <laughs> it's both traditional and has its own unique aspects about the game. But this is really well made. Hello! Can I talk to you? Um, maybe... Oh, that's a one-way thing, isn't it? So once you interact with it, you can't really go back. Unless you can help me. Nope. It's not going to work, is it? Trying to chase NPCs is very difficult. Ah, uh, there's lots of them. So therefore, they're not unique. They're just one of many. How big are these worlds? Because I presume that this is going to be both horizontally and vertically infinite. Whereabouts do we go now? You? We acquired a key! Maybe that's important for something else. Maybe we're going to interact with a locked door, then that key will be handy. Hmm. But you do lose track of what items you have, though. That's the issue. Because maybe you come back to this later on and realize you don't realize that you acquired a key, but then again. These are all, well, just for me, personally. These are all recorded, so therefore, I know what I've done. I'm just too lazy to flip back and see what I've already done, basically. <laughs> so I don't think this world is too big, actually. It's not Umituki-sized big. Which is a bloody massive Umaniki fan game, to be honest. I never played it all. Mainly because if you try and play it all, it's just going to be impossible. Gosh, I don't know how one protagonist has a mind so big that it could literally be forever before you can explore all of it. Hello! This is a rather straight path, if you know what I mean. What? Nani? Let's go this way, Ben. Oh no, not more binary! What have we done to deserve binary? Look at all these zeros! And what are you going to talk to me as? 00111? If you... if I can, but at least you're going slower. Um... Oh, please interact with me. No. I want to interact with you, dear soul! Look! My face is white! I mean, my face is bright! Don't mean it to be like that. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Do we actually unlock this door? Do we actually go through this door? We do go through this door. Hello! Only 0% charge. Wait. Why are you only at 0%? I mm, wonder if this room has some importance to the law of the game, the law of the story, the law of the world. The law of this enhanced reality. But if you're so enhanced, then why do you only show me zeros, huh? Why do you only show me no's? Hi there. I hope you're doing well. If you would like to interact with me, that would be very cooperative. Unless we can't interact with them. Or maybe this room is not meant to serve anything. Or maybe a lot of things. But I can't interact with that guy at all. Even if I am a similar device to what he is. Right, let's keep going along this path then. 
I'm itchy. No good. And funny enough, for one of my only let's plays, I'm not suffering from a nosy. So, not nosy, an itchy nose. Mm, what does this path indi indicate? We've ended up to a dead end now. What's going on in this place? Maybe some sort of hidden secret within all of this. Within all of this, let's do the dooby doo and do the dooey theme. Yeah, so nothing there. Maybe you need a particular effect, like I said earlier, to be able to interact with certain things. That is a quite a quite a morbid sight to say the least. But not bad. Just quite morbid. If you look up in the sky and saw this thing just glitching about, you'd probably think the same thing as well. Let's move on with our lives. Let's go back for now. Yeah, but let's quit it. Because I don't think we can find anything else at this point in time. Archives. Save! I like this actually, this kind of menu screen. So it's like you're not the only one here. We don't go to a normal menu and say we just let you go onto the computer, then we can access as if if it was a computer, as if it was in a game. <laughs> Smartphone! We can't access it here. Right, let's go back. Stop full screening, please! <laughs> oh, it keeps going to full screen. I'm not a fan of that. Let's go back to our, our thing. Actually, there was another avenue we could have walked on, but we was afraid of an enemy NPC. There's also this left side as well, which I have not yet explored. So I'll go up here first and then go back. Just to see what's going on. Nothing much there. Take a screenshot of everything and then we'll plaster all of these over the entire world. Over the entire internet for everyone to see. The majesty that is. Log in. Log into my mind and see what you can see. Although if you try and log into my mind you'll probably be very very scared and reluctant to ever know the name of Flare Blist. This floor, what the heck is Don Goof to here? Literally, I don't know what's going on. Oh my gosh. No one would appreciate <laughs> all the flashing going on. Uh, now we're in a... Unless you thought that was the edge there. I'm on the edge of glory. There's a heart. A lovely, lovely... I always wanted to say... One bit heart. Another diamond. Or maybe this is the same one we entered in. Let's see. Although this one looks much, much, much bigger. Much, much, much bigger. Nope. We're back to the one bit heart. I don't know why that does remind me of one bit heart. Probably because of the colours of the heart itself, more other than the actual uh, styling of the heart itself. Get into the heart of the matter, and we know that. Is it, is this spraying out something? I feel like it's spraying out something. I'm not a theorist, by any means. In fact, I suck with theories. <laughs> Whenever I come up with a theory of a game, it just turns out to be false. But, of course. Theories exist to be a theory. It's not meant to be true or real. It's just a thing that you have in your head. A theory. And the amazing thing about theory is that it's always fluid. You can theorize about a particular aspect and go from there. Hmm, another key. A quiet key. Do not disappear. No, you don't disappear, but... We have to memorize which keys we have interacted with because then, then we won't get confused as to ones which we've already interacted with. Because you may interact with it another time, you're like, why is it giving me a key? And you realize, 
It's already given me a key. The key to suck cess is not by something or other. <laughs> I suck with coming up with theories. I suck with coming up with a motivational speech as well. Do I actually suck at on the spot scenarios? I really don't like them. Whenever you're in a situation where you have to think of something real quick and it's gonna be on the spot, I I really struggle with them. I can't it's not like I was saying that I refuse to do it, but I just really struggle with any on the spot scenarios. It just really grinds at me whenever I'm trying to do something. But instead always, always one hundred percent of the time cocking up. No, I don't like that. Because you put me on an on the spot scenario and I can't think of a professional way of interacting with the scenario itself and seeing where we go from there. If it's a spell or something, I'm almost certain of that. Or maybe I'm just thinking too hard into this and it's simpler than I'm making it out to be. All in a good day's work. So there's got to be something in this world, but I'm not hitting the right places. Well, this does seem... Oh, we've already been here, haven't we? Yep. We've already been here. We've already been where the, the key is. So this world is actually pretty big. I'm not going to lie, it is pretty big vertically, at least, anyways. It seems taller than it is with ways what can one do once we log on <laughs> log in log on both pretty similar but still still we call it by the game title because that would be more respectful for us literally a lens flare then <laughs> from that brightest white spot Right, let's go over another screen and see what we can find. I wonder if there's some significance with the blue dots. Because we're just going to keep running around aimlessly, not finding anything until, of course, we find something. Mm. Yeah, this may take a while because this world is actually quite big. Not as big as my imagination, but still pretty big. Go across another screen. That should do the trick. Once I've explored everything vertically in one screen, then I move over a screen horizontally, then keep on walking vertically. Just that for me... Oh, okay, I literally thought that was a door then. <laughs> I literally thought that was a door thinking, Yes, we got somewheres! It's just me being silly. Being silly whilst having the smartphone equipped. The first thing we saw when coming here is failure. <laughs> Grim. Oh, dear deadly. It. Colour. I him so could this be about a previous relationship maybe Amari you're talking about a person and you could be talking about some previous horrible occurrences mix and match words and you'll get yourself a line but I have to look for it more analytically within some spare time I have so that I can piece together the sentence itself. But the sentence might not be what I believe it could be. But then again, as I said earlier, it could be just a theory. But I mean, that's my own theory of that little tale is that it is between two people this character and another person. Uh previous friend or a previous relationship because it did have like failure, deadly, grim. You know, three quite negative words. 
So therefore, it could be something bad that transpired. Right, let's go across another screen, because I believe I've been up this way at least twice now. What's going to... Hmm. There's nothing in this world. I've uh, been through it a lot of times, but I'm not finding anything. It could just be me being silly, but... I'm not finding anything at all. Like, nothing to go with. Like, this could be a spot where something appears. But I am not getting any vibes of something or somewhere which I can go to and go to another realm. I'm just looking at the uh, diagonal tiles, that's all. Some of them cross over to going like that, rather than going like that. What about this one? Nope. Do you know why I keep thinking that these are doors? They're perfect height enough as well to be a door. Hmm. I don't know what I should be doing here, but that's part of the mystery. That's part of the adventure, you know. It wouldn't be adventure if you've just got the beginning and end within milliseconds. You see these again. Grim failure. I think that resounds me the most in some cases. I'm joking. <laughs> I don't doubt myself that much as a person. But I do believe when it comes to puzzle solving, riddle solving, and stuff like that, that sometimes I can be somewhat to that. But then again, every failure made is a failure that could turn into a success in the future. Because all those experiences, all those trial and errors of what you would call failure, would make you a better person for a better tomorrow, essentially. Right, quit reality and go the other way which I wanted to go to originally. Um, why aren't you doing anything? There we go, that's better. F4 again. Don't like it but it does that though. Right, let's try this again. Take three of us. Ah, one of the things have lit up. Well, effects because of the amount of lights down in the center of the nexus. Could be. Do not get near me, dear one. I still think it is an enemy NPC. I don't care what you think. It runs fast enough to be considered dangerous. Ah, oh, hazmat suits. Or hazmat helmets, anyways, at least. But we're not anywhere radioactive, or are we? Are we anywhere that we should be considered about what's around us? Maybe. There's another little path here. What the heck? Oh, there's red light, green light. Fantastic show, thank you very much. Um, what? Am I supposed to... Oh, I meant to bring a weapon along so I can remove all of them. That's what it is. I need a weapon of sorts so I can eradicate these NPCs. So that I may be able to pass along through that plane. Because without a weapon, it would probably be nigh impossible to go through there. Just because of all the NPC barricades. NPCs being a barricade, I mean. Sorry. Look, there's another one. Another one. Another one. Or well, maybe you're, you're harmless. Maybe you are harmless. I can't speak with you. I'd like to know. Yeah, I've interacted with it many a time. And not much has happened. Okay, so that's all there is to this part of the world. 
or is it? Yeah, I'm going to see what happens when you interact with this guy. Because I'm starting to think that maybe they're not enemies. Yeah, you go around a particular path, aren't you? Yep, yeah, you're not an enemy. But you were following me. <laughs> I'm just going along the same path that he's going along, that's all. Way I've got a new friend. I'm going to call him Bob. Why Bob though? I don't care. He's going to be called Bob. Right, so... We've already been here. I noticed that this way was inaccessible. Look at these binaries. And what does that mean? I know that's going to mean something important, but what does it mean? A 1 to 0 ratio, a 2 to 1 ratio, and a K beside it. Hmm, okay. We've got, we haven't got the key required to unlock that, but maybe these keys are part of something important, like an extra in the game. What? A fatal error has occurred. The system must be rebooted. Press Z or space to reboot. What the heck is going on? Oh, that's a really weird vein, but I'm certainly glad it is there. It's like a little Easter egg of sorts. Excellent. Okay, so we're going to go on the right path this time. Rather than going left than up, we're just going to go right. And see what we can find. This was quite bizarre, but at the same time, very nice indeed. Very computerized. Very fearful for any content creator as well. Whoa! What's this? At least it's a two point path as well, rather than just a, a one way path. Because sometimes you can into. Whoa! The, the background is really distorted. <laughs> Small world. Yeah, so two-way path, so you can interact with it both ways, and it can be able to take you back to and from. Whereas on other paths, it's like you interact with the tile, and then it only takes you to that one way. But if you try and interact with the same tile again, you won't be able to return. Hello! I'll go the other side and see what you're doing. I'll go this way. What? Oh my god, you're running away from me, aren't you? You're literally running away from me. Or maybe you do have a path of your own. I don't know. I want to catch up to that green blob. Mm, I think my, yeah, that green blob is literally running away from me. What have I done? Why did I do to deserve this? Yeah, regardless of where I go, that green blob is not going to be there. Yeah, I've got it nailed down, but it's trying to avoid us as best as it can. Hold on. Can I see it while we're... Hmm. Thing is, even if I stay still, it's not going to come along. Yeah, we need an item that allows us to run fast to be able to interact with that green blob. Because we're literally not getting anywhere with it. Anywhere with it. There it is again. See, I'm trying to go to it, but... Hmm. Let's see if we can. Let's see if we can get to it. Because occasionally it does go our way. This may take a while. No, I'm not giving up. I am going to interact with you, whether you like it or not, Green Blob. And there's no way I'm going to give up. No way I'm going to give up that easily. But, of course... Hmm. Now you're going... Oh, I had the chance then. Oh. No, please. Please. Don't go up or down or right. Don't go up or down, please. Just go left at some point. Please. I'm... Oh, my God. I am... So close to being able to interact with you. No, oh, I've lost a tile. No. Oh, this is literally a game of chase. 
Please stop. Just, just have a brain fart or something. Just stop and be lost in thought for a split second so I can interact with you. Please, I'm pressing enter like of his dear life. You can hear the keyboard probably as well. Oh, uh, please. I just want to talk with you. Please stop. Oh, oh my goodness sakes. Now I've lost a time. Oh, oh, duh. What is your path? Do you have a specific path or maybe you're just random? Please come back. I need you. <laughs> now I'm losing traction now. Uh, okay, I'm going to stop. I'm sorry, folks. There's no way I've been able to, inter to interact with that thing. Oh, no. I feel so disappointed with myself. I need an ability that allows me to run faster or move faster, in a sense, so that I can actually outspeed it. Whew. Nice for that adventure. Let's move on with our life, shall we? God, I felt like I wasted everyone's time there. But still, it's the journey. It's the journey that matters. Not the start point or the end point, but the journey. The journey is all that there is to take in. Forget about the result. Forget about the start point when you didn't know anything. Forget about the point where you know everything about that particular thing. It's about the learning. It's, it's about the journey. It's about the experience. It's about it's about everything that you learn and grasp. Even if it's things that you probably think aren't important. You know, trivial things, small things in life. Just take them and not take them for granted in a way. Oh, look at that. It's a red one. No. I want to interact with you. What do one mean by that? Okay, we've hit another dead end there. Let's go downwards then. So, this world is infinite, but there are boundaries, as you can see. I like the purpleness of this world too. Don't ask me why I like the colour purple. I just really do. Ah, oh, look at it. There's one in the middle there. How do we get to the middle? How does one get to the middle? Ah, there's a path from the south that allows you to go to the middle. Excellent. But we just need to figure out how to get there. Ah, ha, ha. Let's try and acquire this ability from this colour changing NPC. How do you do, my friend? Data stream. Become pure data. Wah! Yes. What are you doing? Why did you do that to me? Oh my goodness sakes! I like the fact. I like the fact that I'm now able to move faster, but at the same time, do you think that buzzing would become a bit of an annoyance after? Stop sending me to the start, please. I like to be able to roam around freely in this world and not be disturbed by your annoyances. Leave me be. What have I done to you? Exactly, I've done nothing. Woke you up from a deep slumber. Yeah, yeah. I think these enemy NPCs should be at a, a normal speed rather than the fastest speed which we're going right now. Become pure data. You are able to roam around faster. Yeah, this is the enhanced reality, definitely. Oh my, oh my goodness sakes, these NPCs are actually quite smart. They track your movements and everything. I'm not sure if there's anything else there to explore. But actually, while we are here, Let's try and get to that thing that we tried to chase early and see if we can track it down. Because now that we run faster, you will be able to give me what I want. Binary! <laughs> we did it! Zeros, ones! Zeros, ones! I think I saw two. If you know that reference, please put that down in the comments below. But it comes from a, a TV series, TV series based in both the present and the far, far future. Zeros and ones. Oh dear. A 
I am a block of zeros and ones. I think you just stole that, um, the, uh, the entity's existence there. Now we become a data stream again. A this is what... Oh, yeah, we can go up now, actually. So I'm not sure if there's anything else on the right side, but I feel like that those enemy NPCs wouldn't chase us if we are not the data stream. just want to see if there's anything we can do with these two panels. Doesn't seem like there's anything for now, but then again, there are still nine other effects in the game. I if there's any events as well. The events set to trend by a down. Alright, let's become binary as we explore this section. Those enemy NPCs won't be chasing us, though, because we're not the data stream. Do those enemy NPCs... Are you kidding me? <laughs> We may have to go back in here once we've reloaded up the game. Just because of those NPCs, literally. Or maybe they only are there once you actually get the data stream thing itself. Ooh. Hmm. There's a particular code there, I've forgotten what it's called now. But you find them on items. Right. Let's see what one can do now. Yeah, we each time we get a new item, those lights pop up. So that must mean we got all the effects in that particular realm. Interesting. So what I think we're going to do now, folks, is... Well, you've probably seen the timeline of this video and see... Oh, picture of the day. Oh, that's another Matazuki kind of one. Right, so we're going to leave it for today, folks. Obviously, I don't know how long the video is until I put it out. But, of course, you guys know by the timeline at the bottom of the video. But, thank you so much for watching, folks. I'm really liking this Umaniki fan game. It really touches the soul of anyone who is a... Um, well, they have a liking in computers and computer games, obviously. Otherwise, why would you be here? Actually, you know what? We're going to play Rinran while we're here you know just just to see what's going on here avoid incoming step on the okay ready <laughs> why did i go towards it you survived zero seconds <laughs> oh there's gonna be a world record or something you survive zero seconds. High score zero seconds. For goodness sakes, I'm supposed to avoid them, not go into them. How long can... Is the objective, is it not? Whoa. I wonder if there's a particular thing that you get after succeeding for a certain amount of time. Like, you survive 30 seconds there, but could something happen within the game? Or maybe you unlock more games in the future when you... Un wait, when you survive Rin Ran for a certain amount of time, would you be able to unlock the next game? And then the next game after that? And then from there, would you be able to get something hidden within the game? Anyways, thank you so much for watching, guys. We'll come back to these games in another time. But thank you so much for watching. We're going to see each other the next time of Log In. Have a wonderful day, folks. Check this game out for yourselves and take care of yourselves.